When most people imagine what happens inside these walls of the Manchester Police Athletic League's Michael Briggs Community Center on Beach Street, they picture this and this. But the programs at MPAL go beyond physical fitness. They're teaching life skills to any kid who wants to learn. We're going to take three cups of milk. We're going to put it in here. And then we're going to mix one package of Jello. And then we're going to dump it all in here. We're making worms and dirt. On this night, Zachary Thayer from the New England Tap House Grill is heading up a group of ambitious young cooks in the center's newly remodeled commercial kitchen. So tonight I've got about between seven and 10 kids that are gonna be working with myself and um, Mark and John in the kitchen. And then there's about another seven or 10 kids that are gonna be upstairs in the dining room. So we're gonna be cooking the food with them down here and then they're gonna be serving them up in the dining room. Um, they're actually serving their friends and their peers in the dining room as well. Tonight's menu? ramen with veggies, and some dirt and worms for dessert. It's a great program to teach you how to like cook um, when you get hungry and your parents are sleeping or out or something like that. The fact that I get to cook, I really do like cooking. It's very fun and the people that I get to cook with. Chef Thayer says this exposure can put kids on a career track or just help keep them fed. Skills in the kitchen are important because you gotta eat. Um, you know, not everybody goes out to eat at restaurants every day, so it's nice to be able to cook a meal for yourself with what you have available and ready for you. While the kids downstairs cook, their peers upstairs are preparing for the meal, learning the tricks and tools necessary for dining out. We're teaching them everything from how to set the plate to how to pass the salt, how to not talk with your mouth full, things that you're just going to need in life, whether it's um, you know, at a, a school banquet, a prom, a military banquet, things that they can carry through. Um, it's also, once they've completed this program, they can put that on their resume if they want to go apply to be a, a busser at a restaurant. So lots of life skills happening. It's awesome because usually when you go to the table, you first think just eat, but instead there's like more stuff to it. So, it's a little strange to me. I'm going to show you. It's like that. So now it's hanging. It's hanging over your hand. Like the kids also dress for success when learning how to dine out. Each child is getting a white Oxford and a tie, and um, at the end of the, the three-week etiquette program, they are allowed to take that home um, because we think that a, a white shirt and a black pants can go anywhere. They can go to school, they can go to a banquet, you add a tie, you can go to a prom. Um, a job interview is something that will sort of, it's multi-purpose. This program does come with perks, a delicious hot meal. The community center is open five days a week and serves thousands of at-risk youth that live often just within a mile. Most of the kids are, you know, pretty, they frequent this, frequent this uh, building quite a bit. So um, we have a lot of repeat kids that go from one program to the next. So some kids will come in for the boxing program from there. They'll go do judo, aikido, maybe the wrestling. I mean, there's some kids that do three to four different programs, and this is just another one that we've added on that's just incredible. Officer Lavasser works hard every day to maintain the mission at MPAL, bringing cops and kids together. They know me, and they get to know me just as a person, as a human being, without the uniform on. And they know I'm a cop too as well, so I'm here while these programs are running, while Tap House puts, comes and brings their chefs, and I'm here just hanging out with the kids, having fun, and they're, and they're able to just connect with me in a different way. Somebody's giving a toast. <clears throat> And so Officer Steve is the head of the table, and he wants to give a toast. Um, what are you doing while he's giving the toast, while he's speaking? A lot of people look at us as, of course, the law enforcement figure, um, but we are just human beings. And I think um, interacting with the youth, uh, they see that. They see that they we're just normal people. We have kids ourselves. Um, we don't know everything about etiquette, of course. And it, of course, that makes them laugh. Um, you know, we're funny people, they're funny kids, and it just, uh, it's just a good time all, all, all the way around.
After dessert, the reviews were in. I feel a lot better. Like if I went to a fa fancy gathering or something, it's awesome. Well, my favorite part about doing this is everything. Along with the kitchen and etiquette skills being taught tonight, the center is also keeping these kids safe, giving them a place to go and a community that looks out for each other. It's like a family and and being in this environment, you come to realize that the kids really take care of each other. And it's very, it's a safe environment, it's welcoming. So if you want to come use the facility and you want to get involved in the programs, you know, yeah, you'll be a little nervous when you first show up, but I can tell you what, the kids in this program are amazing. They'll welcome you in with open arms. And that's the nice part, it's like a big family. Godspeed, may God bless you. Here, here. Cheers. 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 Cheers.